Arkansas takes on Kansas State, 9 o'clock Eastern start time. Arkansas is minus 7.5, totals 140. We went 4-2 and two in our six premium sports picks on BrockPage.com yesterday. And if you want to see which one of these free YouTube picks on this channel that I'm actually betting on personally, there's only one way to do that, and that's to sign up for a membership on my website at BrockPage.com. We're 10 and 4 in our last 14 college basketball tier package picks on that website. And the good news is we have another college basketball tier package pick going off here today. We're also 15 and 2 with a push in our last 18 extra daily picks on that very same website. And if you want to access today's extra daily pick, it's only going to cost you just $2.99. We currently have over 975 members who are signed up and active on that site. And if you find yourself really enjoying this video here today, please feel free to give it a thumbs up by smashing that like button. And if you want to connect with me on a daily basis, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and join the Brock Page family as well. The Razorbacks failed to cover in two out of their last three ball games. They're also letting their opponents hit over 43% of their three-pointers against them. Arkansas is allowing 37 second-half points a game. They're taking on a 2-0 Kansas State program, who's in the top 15 in the country in shooting the three-ball. Nigel Pack is scoring 16.5 points a game, and he's, uh, he's hit 7 of 11 from three land. Meanwhile, Ishmael Masood is scoring double-digit points a game himself, and he's making over 44% of his three balls. Now, Kansas State, they're, ma uh, they're making 44% of their three-pointers as a team. Meanwhile, defensively, they're holding their opponents to just 37% shooting from the field. Now, total-wise, the Wildcats saw their most recent outing with Omaha get over the line. Meanwhile, Arkansas saw their last two straight get over the number themselves. I'm going to lean toward Kansas State, plus 7.5, over 140. Next matchup, it is going to be George uh, Mason versus Washington. Not on our big screen, uh, but that is a 9.30 p.m. Eastern start time. George Mason is minus 4.5, totals 139. But as good as the Patriots have been, they are coming fresh off a three-point loss to James Madison, as a matter of fact, George Mason scored only 64 points in that loss. The Patriots are averaging just 30 first-half points a game on the road. They're taking on a Washington team who won two out of their last three themselves. And they're holding their opponents to just 40% shooting from the field. Terrell Brown Jr. has eight steals thus far in the season. 20 points a night and three boards for the guard. Meanwhile, Jamal Bay is scoring nearly a dozen a game himself, and he's drilling 42% of his three balls. And speaking of three-pointers, this Husky team is holding their opponents to just 30% shooting from beyond the arc. Now, uh, total-wise, Washington is 3-1 of the under for the season. George Mason is 4-1 of the under themselves. I'm going to lean toward Washington, plus 4.5, under 139. Next contest, uh, another one not on the big screen, but it is going to be Northwestern versus Providence, 9.30 Eastern start time. Northwestern's minus one, totals 136.5. The 4-0 Wildcats are allowing just 57 points a game and 36% shooting from the field. They're also limiting their opponents to just 26% shooting from downtown. Now, scoring-wise, Pete Nance is averaging 18 points a game along with eight boards, a couple assists. The 6'10 senior is also 6 of 12 from beyond the arc. Meanwhile, Boo Booey is scoring 15 points a game, along with six assists. Northwestern is making nearly 50% of their field goals as a team. They're taking on a Providence team who failed to cover against the likes of New Hampshire and Fairfield this year. The Friars are making just 33% of their three balls, and they struggled with offensive rebounding at home. Now, total-wise, two out of Providence's last three home games got over the line. Meanwhile, Northwestern saw two out of their last three ball games get over the total themselves. I'm going to lean toward Northwestern, minus one, over 136.5. Next, uh, 
Next contest, Santa Clara, TCU, 10.30 p.m. Eastern tip-off. TCU's minus 3.5, totals 142. TCU failed to cover in two out of their last three ball games. Failures to cover against the likes of Nichols State and McNeese. The Horn Frogs are drilling just 30% of their three-pointers. They're also making just 41% of their field goals. They're taking on a 4-0 Santa Clara team who successfully covered the point spread in all four of their victories. The Broncos beat the likes of Nevada and Stanford already, and they're currently in the top five in college basketball in offensive field goal percentage. Jalen Williams is scoring nearly 20 points a game, four rebounds, three and a half assists for the junior. Now Williams is also shooting over 94% from the strike. Meanwhile, Joseph Vrankich is scoring over 16 points a game himself, along with six boards, six assists. The Broncos are drilling 54% of their field goals. When it comes to the total on this one, Santa Clara is 4-0 to the over on this season. I'm going to lean towards Santa Clara, plus 3.5, over 142. Next and final matchup, it is going to be Notre Dame versus St. Mary's, 11.30 p.m. East. Notre Dame's minus one, totals 132. The Irish shoot just 29% from three land. And they're averaging only 32 first half points a game. The Irish have also failed to cover the point spread in both of their ball games this season. They failed to cover against the likes of High Point and Cal Northridge. They're taking on an undefeated St. Mary's team who's averaging 41 second half points a game. Dan Fotu is averaging over 13 points a game along with five rebounds. Meanwhile, Logan Johnson scoring 11 and a half points a night along with four boards, couple assists. The Gales are in the top 25 in the country in defensive rebounding. They're also allowing just 60 points a game. Now, total-wise, two out of St. Mary's last three fell under the number. Meanwhile, Notre Dame's 2-0 to the under in their last couple of games themselves. I'm going to lean towards St. Mary's plus one under 132. And with that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap. Power to you by my website at brockpage.com where we are 10-4 and four in our last 14 college basketball tier package picks. I like Kansas State plus 7.5 over 140. Washington plus 4.5 under 139. Northwestern minus 1 over 136 and a hook. Santa Clara plus 3.5 over 142. St. Mary's plus 1 under 132. And as far as all the other games go, I like Nichols State minus 5 under 131. UL Monroe, minus 3.5, over 144. Colorado, minus 12, under 135. Butler, plus 9.5, under 123. Akron, minus 10, over 133.5. Murray State, minus 5.5, over 136. Idaho, plus 11, under 139.5. Jacksonville State, minus 7, under 127. Creighton, minus 5.5, over 135. SMU, minus 4, over 138.5. Ohio State, plus 2.5, over 137 and a hook. Cincinnati, plus 9.5, over, I'm sorry, Cincinnati, plus 9.5, under 138. Cornell, plus 15, under 139.5. Sacred Heart, plus 7.5, over 141. Kentucky Wildcats, minus 27, over 136.5. Georgia Tech, minus 24, over 144 and a hook. Coppin State, plus 15 and a half, over 139. Eastern Kentucky, minus 14, over 146. Siena, plus 4 and a half, over 137. Richmond, minus 9 and a half, over 146. Rutgers, minus 19 and a half, under 137. Ohio, minus 14 and a half, under 133. Nevada plus three over 160. Florida Atlantic minus five over 138 and a half. Georgia plus seven and a half under 122. Western Illinois plus seven under 146 and a hook. Delaware minus three and a half under 136. Belmont plus six over 158 and a hook. Charleston plus 16 over 152. Colorado State minus eight under 135. Missouri State, minus 13, over 151. North Dakota State, minus 7.5, under 124. 
UCLA minus 22 over 144 and a half. Northern Arizona minus five over 146 and a hook. Cal Golden Bears plus 13 and a half under 129. Missouri Tigers plus 10 over 134. Western Michigan plus 28 over 149. Duke minus 25 under 157. UM Kansas City plus two and a half under 123. San Francisco Dons minus 24 over 146 and a hook. UC Riverside plus four and a half over 131. Wyoming Cowboys plus three and a half over 133. Arkansas Pine Bluff plus 19 over 147 and a half. University of Pacific minus 20 under 132. USC Trojans minus 26 and a half over 147. And before I give you my next and final free pick for the video, one final reminder that we are 10 and 4 in our last 14 college basketball tier package picks on BrockPage.com. We're also 15 and 2 with a push in our last 18 extra daily picks on that very same website. I'm going to lean toward Gonzaga minus 34 over 155. And with that, guys, now it's time for our shout out of the day. And that's going to go to Remy Stoltz, who said uh, earlier today, your picks are just legendary. Keep up the good work. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on BrockPage.com. If you guys do end up getting a membership here today on that website, just keep in mind, you're going to get billed the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a membership here today on BrockPage.com, you are going to get access to that content all the way through the end of November. I always tell folks in every single video, the earlier in the month you sign up, the better. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Monday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at brockpage.com.